दिस इज राकेश यू वंस अगेन वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑफ ओरिकल एसक्यूएल सो गाइस इन आवर लास्ट सेशन व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द कॉन्केटिनेशन ऑपरेटर सो दैट इज द टॉपिक व्हिच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन आवर लास्ट सेशन नाउ व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस सेशन सो गाइस इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू पिक वन मोर ऑपरेटर व्हिच इज एनी ऑपरेटर ओके सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली एनी ऑपरेटर लेट्स डिस्कस देयर आर फ्यू पॉइंट्स अबाउट द एनी ऑपरेटर एंड आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस द सिंटैक्स फर्स्ट एंड देन लेटर ऑन वी विल जंप ऑन टू द थ्योरी पार्ट ओके नाउ व्हाट एनी ऑपरेटर एनी ऑपरेटर कम्स अंडर द कंपैरिजन ऑपरेटर दिस इज द वन थिंग यू नीड टू नोट डाउन इन योर नोटबुक सेकंड थिंग लेट मी डिस्कस द सिंटैक्स ऑफ द एनी ऑपरेटर देन ओनली देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एग्जैक्टली आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ओके सो एज यू कैन सी ऑन द योर स्क्रीन दिस इज द सिंटैक्स ऑफ द एनी ऑपरेटर इन विच यू कैन सी द कॉलम वन ग्रेटर देन i have used the one keyword any and then inside the bracket i have given the value 1 value 2 value 3 okay now coming back to the original discussion okay now what exactly any operator will do any operator will compare the value of column with the whatever the value we have given in the bracket it will compare with the all the values and if any condition matches then it will return true means query will return some result okay now what exactly it means and how exactly it works let me show you the equivalent query of this any operator so as you can see over here on the screen this is the equivalent query so what exactly it will do it will compare the column 1 greater than value 1 or column 1 greater than value 2 or column 1 greater than value 3 so if is there any condition full fits then it returns the data means it will check with the all the values and if any uh, values matches then it will return the data or i can say that it returns the true value okay so this is what the any operator now <coughs> when we discuss the practical part at that time you will understand more uh, in detail and the things will be much much clear okay so let's go for the practical So guys just right now we have seen the theory part of the any operator now it's time for the practice so let's begin before i start any operator discussion i would like to show you the content of the employee table so this is the content of the employee table you can see over here this is the content of the employee table okay guys so however i am moving very fast but you have to be here with me i don't have that much time and i don't want to make the video long okay so this is the content of the uh, employee table now i want to use the any operator now let's see first the syntax how exactly we use so this is how we write the a uh, query for the any operator okay now let's understand uh, what all the things i need to take care over here and let's discuss what exactly this syntax is so this is the column and this is the operator this operator can be anything okay just like the greater than less than greater than equal to or less than equal to or equal to whatever operator you want to use you can use it over here okay after that you have to use the any keyword and inside the bracket you have to give some values which you want to compare now let's understand what exactly the any operator does so any operator will do comparison with all these three values over here or whatever the values you have given over here it will compare with all and it will give those record which satisfies this condition okay let's understand in our example how exactly it will do so what exactly it will do it will compare the salary column with this 4200 4800 and 6000 what it will compare it will compare the salary is greater than 4200 or not and where it will compare it will compare with this all this rows which is in the employee table means what i want to trying to say over here it will uh, compare like this salary is greater than 4200 or not in the entire table it will scan entire table whole employee table and it will uh, look into those columns or sorry those uh, values or those rows which is greater than 4200 and whatever the rows it is satisfying this condition it will keep that rows in the buffer or in cache 
now after that it will again compare with the 4200 and it will scan whole table and whatever the rows satisfying this condition it will keep that rows also in the hold or i can say that in the cache now again it will compare with the 6000 and whatever the rows it is compare uh, or it is uh, satisfying their uh, this condition then that rows it will select and it will keep on cache once all the comparison is finished then only then the result will come on the display so let me show you what exactly i will get with this any operator so this is you can get over here with the any operator from the employable so as you can see over here there is no record less than the 4200 you can see over here no record no record and this is same query as the or operator guys same operator so let me show you the equivalent query of this query so what is that equivalent query equivalent query is this one with with the using the logical or operator you can get the same result let me show you the result of this so as you can see over here, same it's the same result same result let me show you with the help of count how many rows it got retrieved from over here so let me show you you can see over here 61 is all 61 is got retrieved over here and let me show you over here also how many got retrieved you can see over here 61 got retrieved so it means both the queries are returning same thing so let me give you some assignment or let me tell you what you can do the experiment so guys what i am giving or what i am suggesting over here experiment use the uh, commission column over here instead of the salary column and give some uh, random values over here whatever the random values this is uh, 0 0.3 0 0.2 and uh, one one value you use the null over here and one value use along with that zero also so like this you can use over here 0 0.3 something like that you can use and you can use over here commission column so this is what you need to do or this is how you can do the some experiment and you will learn and you will come to know what exactly this any operator and this is how you need to practice for the OCA certification guys so this is all about the any operator so guys I hope you have understood what exactly the any operator in short this query is equivalent to this query so in whatever the uh, syntax or whatever the query you are comfortable you can write it but um, generally we do not use this any operator in the our best practices in my life i never ever use this operator generally we use this operator this this logic okay so anyways uh, we have to understand what exactly the any operator so that's why i made this video on this so i hope you have understood what exactly the any operator so let's have a look on the assignment what exactly you need to do and guys if you like the video then hit the like button share it and subscribe it thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care